Zplex is a software as a service company in the enterprise blockchain world. And with me is Ankush Tiwari, the chief technology officer and co-founder as well. So explain Zblox and then how it fits in with Zbyte. Sure. So thanks, Shane, for having me here. We at Zblox are trying to make enterprises adopt to blockchain faster, quicker. So what we're doing at Zblox is trying to make all the things easy, which today are entry barriers for enterprises when they are looking to adopt to blockchain, we're trying to remove all those barriers. Mm -hmm. For that, what we have done is, we have picked up the DPLAT, which Zbyte is releasing the open source code, and we are adding in all the pieces that are required for enterprises to embark on their blockchain journey with confidence. So what we're doing is, when you talk about an enterprise, Enterprise, everything works on an email identity. That's how they log in into any of the new software that they use. Okay. Blockchain, it's different. Blockchain, it's pretty much, you know, you use a wallet, you have set of private public keys. So very simple, you know, we do identity connectors into enterprise systems, make the onboarding journey easier. Similarly, enterprise have got lots and lots of stuff in the existing system of records and system of engagements. Today, blockchain doesn't talk to any of that. Oh, we make sure that using Zblocks and the DPLAT that we are getting from the open source, we are adding those connectors in so that it's easy for enterprise to get value from the system, existing system of records and system of engagements seamlessly. And we're exposing all of this as a low-code, no-code platform because today in the Web2 system, enterprises are adopting to low-code, no-code in a faster way. When we are asking them to move to Web3, which we say is better than Web2, I need to make sure that the, all the dev environment, the tools that are coming there, if not better, at least they're at the same level as what Web2 has. Yeah. So blockchain has all these missing pieces today. Okay. And that's where you know we think enterprise wants to adopt to Web3, but Web3 is not enterprise ready. So in short, you can think of Zblocks is making Web3 enterprise ready. Okay, very interesting. And you know, I'm, I'm coming to realize just how um, young blockchain is because there's still so much of these things that need to be worked out. Why is it so difficult? So I think you know it's more about maturity cycle of any new disruption that comes at the infrastructure layer. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, you know, we have a very good example in public cloud, if you look at what happened in 2009-10, when public cloud became available for the first time. Mm -hmm. So we saw Azure, AWS, GCP coming at slightly different times uh, from 2009-10 onwards. But at that point of time, when you're going to enterprise and say, hey, we are here and you want to, you should just go on a public cloud journey. There was no CIO who said yes. Every CIO was closed onto that because it was more about my data can't go onto a public cloud. So everybody built some form of private cloud by that time. But in reality, if we observe it closely, what was missing was there was not enough tools, whether it was about data privacy, whether it was about development tools, whether it was about migrating on-prem data into a cloud, virtualization container, giving the enterprise confidence about interoperability, portability, when they're thinking public cloud and security was not there. Okay. So it took the enterprise software industry a good five to six years to bring those tools. That's when we saw virtualization became big, containerization became big, we got all the cybersecurity tools, we got the single sign-on. So there were multi-billion dollar companies that got created just yeah. doing this. And all they were doing was giving more and more confidence to enterprise to embark on the public cloud journey. You fast forward it to today, go to any enterprise, hey, public cloud, will you go? The answer is pretty much there. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, which public cloud I want to adopt to I between see. the choices that I have. And you have enough tools to do that. So infrastructure of public cloud became available in 2009, 10, but it took good five to seven years to mature. Yeah. Now, if you fast forward to today, I think the infra layer disruption on L1s is there today, which is what I call the blockchain L1s. Okay. It's there, but the middle piece, what is called, what we are calling is the tools, what helps enterprise embark on that journey are missing. And that's what we have called the decentralized platform yeah. uh, that we are taking from Zbuy. And we are adding all the enterprise flavor that is required for an enterprise CIO or the enterprise organizations, product managers there to confidently embark on that journey we are ensuring that all those pieces are getting built. Of course, we should not take five to seven years what we took in public yeah. cloud. We should be doing it faster. We are on a mission to do that. Yeah, okay, great. So, and you're really just trying to make it, so if a company wants to be in Web3, um, you're taking care of all the infrastructure and the technology for them to be able to do that. So they don't have that headache as well. You're just working out the kinks and getting the tech working right. Oh, absolutely, Jane. Yeah. So if you look at, right, if I go to an enterprise today and let's say I'm taking a use case 
which we are working on, which is uh, how do we use NFTs for campaign management and more seat sticky campaigns to, to, to the consumers that brands reach out to. So today, if you see what the challenge that uh, exists today is, I can't go and ask them, you know, you forget everything what you're using, right? You could be using a CRM solution in your, okay. in your enterprise environment, or oh, you change that, I'll get a new tool for you, you train your new people. It's not gonna happen like that. Mm -hmm. So when I say Web3, so the Web3 advantage is about transparency and immutability and trust that it's bringing in. So I want to make sure that how can I lay over these three key features of Web3 onto the existing Web2 that the enterprise are using. So I don't ask them to change their CRM. I don't ask them to change how their campaign managers work today. You pretty much use the same tools. We will just give you a connector that gives you all the added advantages of Web3 that you will get. And you can pretty much run your NFT-based campaigns from your today's CRM tools and get all the analytics that is happening on blockchain from Web3 side into the same analytics tool. So that's what we call about enterprise connectors that are working. So we don't change the user behavior. We don't change the tool behavior. We just enrich the tool, same Web2 tool, and make it Web3 enabled for the value that you want to derive from Web3. Now, when you think of like where you want to be, with this tech solution, like what's your goal? Just, I mean, as easy as possible, it sounds like, for somebody to be able to use this service, right? Yeah, so Jane, it sounds easy, but <laughs> enterprise, I think the fastest sale I've done ever in my life is 12 months, okay. right? So, uh, so we say that we are the Web3 guys who have empathy for the enterprise. We don't call them slow. Uh, we don't call them old school. We understand, right? Uh, they have to come and report here like quarter on quarter on performance or to their investors. So we have empathy for them. What we are doing essentially is making their journey faster. Now example of how SaaS companies accelerated their journey right from adoption and deployment of a tool to a usage of tool and users could get benefit. You can just think of that within the existing Web2 environment, we are laying over the Web3 layer for the benefits they want to achieve with the right set of tools and ensuring that all the, all the challenges that people are hearing about adopting to blockchain are taken away, whether it's about, let's say, using crypto assets. Uh, how do you get crypto assets inside an enterprise, right? So we ensure that when you're using our platform, it's business as usual for you. You pay us in fiat, rest everything we, we take care, care okay. of you, right? So, so these are small things that we, we have just added. But I think in terms of Web3 adoption into enterprise, these are showstoppers. Without these, I don't think enterprise will embark on a journey uh, of adopting blockchain into their core function. So this is what really needs to happen. Exactly. Well, it, it definitely needs to happen. And we are the company that is making it happen. We want more people to think like this. Come and let's onboard enterprises. Let's not keep Web3 siloed to DeFi and CFI that's happening. There are a ton of use cases that enterprises need to build. Let's make sure that the ecosystem on the Web3 side is making it ready and giving more confidence for enterprises to adopt to this. Yeah. So finally, and Kush, I mean, we're almost to the end of 2022. Talk about next year. I mean, what kind of your strategy, your goals? What would you, where would you like to be this time in 2023? Okay, great. So what we have is that, you know, the platform right now is, is, is open to people. We are going live with one of our customers in coming few weeks. We'll talk about that uh, very soon. And next year for us, it's more about getting more and more customer wins uh, on the platform side for us to deploy more platform uh, into the enterprise and getting the developer community going on the enterprise side. So the platform is, is going to be open in, in in, in, in next year, more developers are going to come and use and enrich the platform. And we are looking at people like ourselves and more SIs on the enterprise side to come and embrace the platform and build use cases. Because we are platform, we are thinking of four or five use cases which we are seeding the market with. But I think the real use cases, there will be system integrators who are working with these large enterprises who will know and they can come and scale this platform next year. So that's our uh, next year journey looks like. And, and on the L1 side, on the blockchain Web3 side, we are adding, we are a multi-chain platform, so we are going to be getting more and more L1s uh, getting added. And based on what enterprise wants, they are free to choose the L1 they want to. And they will have free uh, interoperability and portability uh, on the chains that they will be working on using on platform. Okay, so it sounds like next year could be a pivotal year, really. Oh, absolutely, for absolutely. For and Z-Block, so. Absolutely, yeah. and we think industry is maturing to this. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I, haven't, I haven't gone to an enterprise where the question about we have to justify why they need blockchain. Now it's more about how they get blockchain into the system, right? I think if this year was about, or last year was more about people asking, why do I need blockchain in the mm -hmm. enterprise, right? I think that part is answered. Now it's more about how do I get in blockchain into the yeah. enterprise. Okay. And ZBlox is on that mission. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, Jane, Thank you. for having me here.